Starstruck? Wow. Then he saw Ada. It was all over. I have read and understand the privacy policy. Yeah, I didn't read it at all. <laughs> Except the terms of service. Absolutely, I read them. What do you mean? Square Enix account? Do I have one? Uh. I don't know. Choices. What is that? Saved games, video settings. Performance mode? Yes, please. Uh, subtitles. Look sensitivity, how to play. Whenever you're ready, Pooks. Okay. You're fine, no hurry. I know you're, I know you're shopping. Straight up shopping. We have to turn the game audio up so I can hear what they're saying. Episodes. Okay. Out of time. Chaos. The others. Oh, five. Jeez. No. You'd already know we're about to look at every last detail of these games. Just like Resident Evil 2, baby. Life is Strange is a story-based game that features player choice. Choose wisely. Decisions will impact the past? Excuse me? How does that work? I understand the present and the future, but the past? Does Max have a stand ability? I, I know she can, like, rewind time a little bit, but, like, that's about all I know. I promise. Where am I? What's happening? I'm trapped in a storm? How did I get here? And where is here? Basically, like her stand. There's the lighthouse. Yeah. I'll be safe if I can make it there. I'll be safe if I can make it there. Please let me make it there. I still have no idea what's going on here. Hang on, I gotta, I gotta appreciate the shirt. Jane Doe's shirt. Gotta pay your respects. be explained in due time, yeah, I'm sure. Oh, I can, oh, I can move faster by holding the right trigger. Neat. Oh my gosh, that was a sign. That, that, okay. Black 
Rockwell Academy, 1910. Okay. I get to the bench. I want to sit down. Holy shit. So surreal. Called film, little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow, from color to chiaroscuro. Now, chiaroscuro. Can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that sure didn't feel like a dream. Weird. Arbus. There you go, Diane Arbus. Diane Arbus. Thank you, Victoria. Because of her images of hopeless faces, you feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? Facts. I can hear the class laughing at me now. You shut your face. That is such right? a cool picture. And frankly, it's bullshit. I can't believe I still have this. I should take a picture to Seriously. prove I'm still here. Excuse me, Max. You're talking about your pencil case. I have to get my daily selfie quota. And I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. There we go. But I like need. it old school. What if Arvis chose to capture my little people? camera bag is battered, but still kicking. She had a brilliant eye. So can look at I haven't journey. kept up with my journal as much as I should. If anybody to read the whole journal. What would they think? I'm not a if anybody else looked at this, what would they think? Uh, wait a minute, where's it start? Okay, here we are. Image.jpg What's going on here? Ooh. Oh, I see. Okay. Wait, where are the petals? Or not the petals, the leaves. Yeah, it looks nice. It's up to you. Do I want to read this right now? Probably not. It's very boring. <laughs> Is it really? It's just like, I came to my new school and like, I feel like a woman. That's pretty much it. Man. I'm going to start describing everybody. Max Caulfield? As in Holden Caulfield? No way. <laughs> Ever since I was a little kid, I knew I wanted to be a photographer. I've always seen the world with my own lens finder. It's a way for me to be part of the world at a safe distance. For some reason, I was always drawn to an old analog camera gear rather than digital tech of all kinds of styles and techniques. But for me, the instant camera selfie is the one I love most. I don't care if people make fun of me or not. I'm in great company, right? Now I've come all the way back to my childhood home to study photography at Blackwell Academy, a private school for 12th grade seniors. <gasps> That's awfully specific. On a scholarship, even. I originally left behind... Chloe, my best friend forever, at least until I left, without talking to her once in five years. Oh. Feels so weird to be back here without seeing her yet, so I'm 18 now, an official adult, even though I don't always feel so wise or mature, and I'm ready to begin a whole new life here with a retro camera at my side. Say cheese. Mark Jefferson, hubba hubba. Not only is Mark Jefferson one of the best photographers in the world, he's also my teacher. One of the reasons I wanted to come to Blackwell. I'll have to need to be measured by one of your inspirations. I've always loved his deco, I guess, deco and goth style. He's so versatile with all of his incredible print and advertising work. Still, Jefferson can be a bit condescending. You tell him. You tell him. Tell him like it is. He's pretty hip for his age, but kind of aloof. Sometimes pretentious. He has this smug smile when he thinks he's right. 
I do think he's preparing us for how tough it is to be a full-time artist. Acts like he understands my own work and obsession with analog images. He really wants me to enter a photo in this everyday heroes contest, but I've done a good job of avoiding that. The winner gets to fly to San Francisco to represent Blackwell Academy and get national exposure. I like to think my work could be good enough to win, and the Monarch Jefferson even bugged me about the contest. Uh, Kate? Kate. I don't know if I've ever seen Kate Marsh smile or laugh in the past month. She's really sweet and nice, even though the other students make fun of her abstinence campaign. Even if they act immature, everybody at Blackwell are seniors, not high school freshmen. She gets a lot of crap, in fact. I know she's involved in a lot of religious groups, but she doesn't preach to me, so I don't care. But she's been extra quiet and introverted the past couple of weeks. She looks like she's in zombie mode. Wish I could help her, but I could barely help myself. I wonder if all that bullying has worn her down. I can see how it would. I have to make an effort to talk to her more often, maybe invite her to tea or a movie. Although she's an adult, I bet she's not allowed to watch R-rated films. And there's Victoria Chase, the elite of Blackwell Academy, and a total person. And I hate saying that, I just don't know why somebody who's so rich and beautiful needs to be so mean. 18-year-olds at a prestigious academy should be evolving into artists and scholars, not reality show contestants. Victoria does everything for maximum drama. She actually wastes her time calling me out in class and taunting Kate Marsh. For reals? <laughs> for reals? I wish your parents could see her in action. They'd cut off that trust fund fast. Then again, she's in the Vortex Club and they seem to own the school, so maybe that's why she doesn't give a crap. The odd thing is that she does know art and photography. She can even say all those French names and break my tongue. Her work is a little cold, but she has a good eye. She also has an eye for Mr. Jefferson, ho ho ho, which is so obvious that I'm embarrassed for her. Uh oh. She does everything but sit in his lap. Okay. He keeps his distance though, we can all tell she's trying to win the Everyday Heroes contest. I'm sure it drives her crazy when there's somebody she can't buy or seduce. Dang! Oh, these are pictures? Okay. Oh, we got, we got texts! It's a very special 18th birthday. You're an adult now, but you're still our little girl. Check your account. Don't blow it all at once. I have money? 921. What's today? Kate. Hey, Max, you're around. Always. You okay? Did you want to get tea later today? Absolutely. I'll be free after 4. TTYL. TTFN. Happy birthday, Maxine. Can't believe it's been 18 whole years since you were brought to us. Hugs and kisses. Warren. Oh my gosh. Buddy. <laughs> Hold up. Man, triple texted. Three texts within a minute. Is he? Is he? Give me for coffee after school. I need an excuse to not study. Please. Make sure you check out Nick Romantic on my flash drive. Mwahaha. Hey, Mad Max. <laughs> <laughs> we have to study for a physics test. So if we bust anything, we also have to measure its velocity. Oh, you. So quirky. I got accepted. If words could dance, this would be a rave, even though I've never been to one. Who cares? I didn't think I'd be so excited. It's not like I didn't used to live in the same town, but when I saw the text from the Blackwell Scholarship Office, I could literally feel my pulse speed up. I thought I was going to say, sorry, thanks for playing. It took me a few seconds before I read the whole thing. I guess I wanted to enjoy that last moment of blissful ignorance. And even when I, uh, uh, when I saw the first word, congratulations, I think I screamed. My mom cried and my dad laughed. They're so weird, but they're happy, and this means extra financial support because they don't have to pay anything to Blackwell. This means new clothes, and if I can work it, a uh, new laptop. Oh, and I have to keep telling myself in caps that I'm going to Blackwell Academy. Woo. So this is it. I'm leaving Seattle to go back to Arcadia Bay. What state is that in? Or is it still in Washington? I don't know. Uh, usually people go to the high school closest to home. I suppose I am too. It's just I haven't lived there for five years. Out of all the best photography programs in the world, I chose uh, I choose to go to the smallest back in the town. I was excited about leaving. This is in July and August. Okay, 2013. Oh my gosh. Maybe I wanted to come back all along just to see if Chloe and I are still even friends, but I do wish Chloe could have moved with us to Seattle. That city was made for 
when we would play pirates in our rooms into the woods. It seemed like Seattle was that fabled faraway island of treasure and adventure that we were always seeking with coffee shops. But Seattle wasn't like a fable. Au contraire, now Blackwell Academy seems more exotic to me than any other place in the world. To study photography under Mark Jefferson, hubba hubba. Sigh. It's my hearts and flowers. I was joking. Must still be cool diverse students from everywhere. It won't be like my high school now. I never really found a group with my classmates or boys. Aw. Lucky I have a couple great friends here, but it's time to ship out. So maybe Arcadia Bay will actually turn out to be the island of treasure and adventure I've been looking for. Uh, <laughs> I like the cat. Stuff is crazy here. I didn't realize how much crap I had to pack until I had to pack all my crap. Mom and Dad are getting a little too excited and cleaning out my clearing out my room. So I caught Mom crying when she was packing my shirts. That made me want to cry like a little girl and never leave Seattle. So instead of packing, I feel like burning all my clothes and just raiding at their store to build up a new Max wardrobe over my junior year. Not that I even have an old Max wardrobe. Nobody will know me except for Chloe, and who knows how different we are now. So I can cut my hair, get a tat, and some piercings. Maybe date a cute foreign exchange artiste from Paris or Rome. I can do anything unless I get busted. There will be so many super cool chances for my photography to get exposed. Thinking about that is when I get scared but excited, and I don't feel like crying at all. I get tingles down my arms, sensing the universe opening up for me. I can't wait to leave. I just want things to be different at Blackwell. Yeah. Just for a second, my first entry from my new dorm room the night before my first day at Blackwell why I feel that woo hadn't had any time to write or even take pictures since I got here my stuff is in boxes all over the room which is small but mine I never want to leave I can't wait to decorate I plan a whole wall of photos I did meet some of my dorm mates though I suck at remembering names so I won't bother right now I think I can already see who's going to be cool to me and who's not it's a pain trying to get settled into a new school and social scene after I finally found good friends in Seattle but I'm here now, and this is the start of my new life. Sweet dreams. September 3rd, Blackwell sucks. <laughs> I told myself not to apply so soon, but dang. The day started like Christmas morning. I barely had any dreams because I was so pumped to start my first official day of my, of my new life. Like a dork, I couldn't figure out what to wear, so I chose what was on the floor. Me too. I'm no good with names and faces right away, but I picked up some names like Kate, Brooke, Taylor, Alyssa. Uh, how can I forget Victoria Chase? Rich, stylish, and titled, I could feel instant judgment when she looked at my raggedy clothes, as if I'm that black well to strike fashion poses. Maybe I'm being extra crispy sensitive. <laughs> but I think Victoria wants life here to be like her own reality show. Ugh. So that wasn't fun, along with my general social unease. I thought it would be easier to be in back. Call the ambulance. <laughs> I don't want this day to end all woe as Max. It was incredible to walk across the green campus in the morning mist. I love the stone steps and brick walls of Blackwell. Everything is a picture waiting to be taken. Speaking of, at least one great thing did happen today. Mr. Jefferson's photography class. Sigh. There's more to tell, but journal, forgive me. I'm truly wiped out. September 4th. I have a buttload of homework already. So much stuff. At least give us noobs a day to acclimate. But to prove I'm not a total loser, I made a new friend in my science class. His name is Warren Graham. He's a serious geek. Plus, he's dark and witty. Okay. He comes across as kind of a know-it-all, but it turns out he does kind of know a lot. We talked about photographers, and he actually named a few I'd never heard of. We traded numbers, and he'll be a good study partner, or a good friend. I'll need, oh, friend zoned already. I'll need at least one based on the click action here. I thought being 18 meant I didn't have to deal with this teenage drama anymore. I thought... At least I get to research famous photographers for some of my homework. Mr. Jefferson assigned us a ton of reading, but this is exactly what I want to study. Jefferson is super cool and super chill. Doesn't try to be too hip, just says what he thinks and expects us to as well. I think he's a genius. OMG, I want to marry him. Just joking. <laughs> this one class is worth all the social dysfunction. Homework is kicking my butt. I bet the teachers grade harder just to stop you from feeling special. But Victoria Chase and her snob minions still front like they're honored guests of Blackwell. The bros here aren't that different. Nathan Prescott is Victoria's male clone with way more money and attitude, if that's possible. 
Uh, his family's the oldest in Arcadia Bay, and I heard stories about them when I was a kid. Prescott's give a buttload of bank to Blackwell, so Nathan acts like he literally owns the school. Yesterday during class, he put his feet on the desk, started text, te te texting, texting, and the teacher didn't say Jack. I'd get suspended, but him and Victoria are part of the silly elite vortex club that puts on popular parties until they get their way. It's good to be the king and queen. I like that picture on the top with the birds. It's cool. I don't want to slam everybody. I do like Kate Marsh. She's down the hall and in one of my classes. She's so pretty and sweet and friendly. It makes her more beautiful than the biatches. <laughs> You're like Victoria. I think beauty is just your face and outfit. See? I'm already playing the drama games. No more. Finally had a chance to take some actual shots around campus today. A perfect blue sky day. I always forget how great I feel after I take pictures when I've been slacking off. Speaking of pictures, Mr. Jefferson told us about the National Everyday Heroes photo contest. He wants us all to enter. The winner gets a trip to San Francisco and lots of publicity. He wants just one photograph from each student. This is exactly why I wanted to come to Blackwell, and of course I'm scared to enter. At least I have a couple weeks before the deadline in October, so I have plenty of time to stress and procrastinate. <sighs> I don't know whether I love it or hate it here. I'm trying to keep up with my science class of all things, like I give a crap or even understand it. Good thing I know Warren. Too bad I can't clone him to take my place in class. Miss Grant is much cooler than the class. She explains particle physics so even boneheads like me can kind of understand. I love how she relates society to science and vice versa. I can tell she's committed and passionate about life. Unlike some of us in her class, but I'm trying to engage more, even if it means asking actual questions instead in class instead of hiding in the back. I'm just glad I'm not the only social misfit here. Now, how much homework are you avoiding? Oh, buddy. October, my favorite month. Best weather of the year. I love watching the leaves change color, turn into tiny flames, but still too hot. Thanks, global warming. Can't bust out the big coats and sweaters or scary movies yet. Soon. Can't let me borrow The October Country by Ray Bradbury. I haven't read much by him, which caused Warren to almost revoke my geek cred before I held up my copy of Battle Royale. But he nails the autumn atmosphere of small towns. The last time I wore a Halloween costume was with Chloe. I had pictures of one of my old albums. I should find a real Halloween party to crash so I can experience some social mingling. It's that or a Vortex Club Stroke Fest swimming party. Or is that Backstroke Fest? You so punny, Max. Uh, <laughs> at least I'm trying to climb out of my cocoon. I shouldn't expect my life to completely change after a few weeks at Black Little Academy. As my parents love telling me on a loop, you have all the time in the world. Oh, buddy, if only you knew. I prefer. I Robert prefer Frank. Robert Frank. Shut up. Me too. I do love my analog camera. I should take a quick picture now. Conditions of the air, but a beauty in the struggle. You don't have beauty without a beat, which explains why Frank was Kerouac's photographic muse, and both were the great chroniclers of the 1950s. Well, we've all seen that iconic shot of Kerouac on the balcony, and if you haven't, shame, shame. Capturing the romantic urban solitude of the 20th century poet. You did. Now, I, I forget your name, but you're boring me. Salvador Dali's shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. Uh, no, uh, the teacher, Mr. Jefferson. That's why, okay. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for self-expression. <sighs> Sorry, I couldn't use this. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for Dude, everyone looks like they're falling asleep. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you oh. tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self portraits? Duh. You're asking You're me? Asking me? Are you talking to me? You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. Sad face. The Daguerreian process brought out fine detail and God bless faces, you. I, I, have, I wish you the best in life. And first I hope you thrive. Self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook or even online. 
And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Oh. Oh. He's calling me out. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. Oh, you're right. Oh, you're so right. Oh, my. Damn, they have carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock. God, I'm such a photo nerd. I wasn't going to say anything, but I respect it. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. Looks like it was painted. I love seeing Mr. Jefferson's awesome photos on these magazine covers. Featuring the latest works from Mark Jefferson. Huh. Oh, I can read it? Oh. Is grunge dead? Ten reasons to get electronic mail? What is this from? <laughs> no way! That printer is amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. I could pump out a whole gallery show with that thing. When I don't suck. Someday. Obviously, Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. I can use the computer. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Huh. That's cool. Hey, Kate. Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Poor thing. What you, what you working on? Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. Hope I didn't embarrass you. Right, I remember I said this because I hate when people say you seem quiet today or like stuff like that. Kate, I hope I didn't embarrass you with my lame answer. It sucks to be dragged into the spotlight. Unless you're Victoria. She's got I can understand on you, why, though. Well, I should get going. Yeah, me too. I guess I shouldn't say hey. I just... Sure. <gasps> the paper ball! Now I, want I wish it. I wouldn't have read this. <clears throat> Purge. Oh, right, has a mean note. Ah, uh, okay. Would you throw that away, Max? Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And people laughed. Of course, Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive everything. I can use the tablet. I should have known. Oh. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Bruh. With the all speed and power expected from a new greenlit, the GRL T64S is packed with its expanded features and manageability. Shoots what you want, where you want, straight out of the camera. JPEG images already have superb quality, including a new level of depth, sharpness, and malleability. $5,300! Good lord. What's going on out there? People socializing? Disgusting. Huh. This might make a cool shot. Take the picture. Rachel Amber. She's the one who went missing. Uh, whoa, look at this. Oh, uh, is this stuff I'm supposed to look out for so I can take all the pictures? That's cool. Chloe Price. Oh, that looks like Kate, and she looks happy. Oh, uh, so what is this for? Ah. Uh. So it's like the files in Resident Evil for locations. Neat! Still don't know who... 
Uh, wait, where's the picture I just took? Oh, there it is. Rachel Amber really is, but okay. This is definitely where cameras go to heaven. Oh man, they have those sweet ultrasonic lenses. And look at that vintage rangefinder. What? Two mix. So cool to see Mr. Jefferson's actual published pictures. Gives me hope. Mark Jefferson's noir beauty. Fragile must be Italian. So cool that we can check these out anytime. The decisive moment by Henri Cartier Bresson, that's rare. Any leap of it's mad respect. The amazing Eugene Smith, good to see Avedon among the masters. Dolly, of course. Lots of people I haven't heard of yet. I guess that's why I'm here. Yeah. Here's the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? I don't know if I'm ready for my 15 minutes of infamy. Best represents yourself or others in heroic action. You may submit only one image on approved paper for consideration. Uh, for those 18 and under apparent permission. Okay. No. Man, he even has the best plasma HGTV for a class monitor. I was gonna say. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. That's insane. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Hmm. Whoa, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. He probably paid 20 grand for that camera. I bet he gets pristine digital images. But I still dig my little instant camera. Yo, yo, what up, Victoria? Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Oh Excuse no, me. he's hot. Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Could I just walk out with like a, without having handed in the, the picture? <laughs> uh, do I have, Do I have to? to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you old to play catch dude. up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. That's what separates the artist from the amateur. You're so right. Thank you, Mr. Jefferson. Nice ass. What? <laughs> you didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. I'm not paying you Welcome to the real world. Welcome to the real world. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture. Oh my gosh, that conversation just. <laughs> I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. Hang on, Kingdom Hearts is a little different than I remember. She's so fucking shy. Those are some good noise canceling earbuds. Man. Stingy with my blood. <laughs> to all of you, 
That's cool. Oh, I'm digging the song. Rachel Amber, each 19, please call with any information. Tattoo on calf of a dragon and a star on the inside of the left wrist. Oh my gosh. Posters like this. Be nice. Do your work. Listen to speaker. <laughs> Wait. Respect your daddy? Excuse me? This is like, this is a private school for seniors. Man. Oh, he. Sorry, I know I'm ruining the uh, atmosphere with the, with the song by talking over it. But. There's Taylor, always waiting for Victoria. That's okay. Don't worry about it. I think that's Courtney. She's such a slave to Taylor and Victoria. Huh. So we got the we got the cool girls over there. Alyssa is always texting, but she doesn't hang out with a lot of people. Evan. Evan doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very cool. Whoa! Excuse you, pal. What'd you say? Oh. <laughs> it's too late. Yes, this poster must stop bullies dead in their tracks. Um... What happens if I do this? Getting some low res textures here. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be alright. Oh, it's my locker. I hate having everybody see inside my locker. Why is mine red? Oh, I guess they're just okay. I love that picture of mom and dad. Hello, Jack. Kiss, kiss. Andy, you look totally fabulous as usual. Stella is always deep in her notes. She didn't come to Blackwell to mess around. Man. Oh wait, there's a science room back there. I totally walked past it. Ah, the science room. Here's the portal to Warren's brain. Talking to, I think his name is Justin. Dana is on my floor too. She's such an archetypal, gorgeous cheerleader. They must make them in a factory. I shouldn't be so catty. Dana is nice to me. No, leave him alone. Poor Daniel, he's so nice. I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. To all of you, I hate bully jockstraps like Logan. Auntie's a Vortex Club member. No one can tell where your heart is. American girls I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. Friend zone do it again. I wish I, I wish October would last forever. Another one of these. It looks like she's been gone for months. 
Oh, April. T oh, oh, honey. Yeah, that's not good. You can never have enough ghosts and skeletons in the hall. Is that a Pringles can? They should just call it a sugar machine. That would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar dropped out. Don't need a PC. I missed the Poetry Jam tryouts, and I did not steal that backpack. My backpack with all my school books and my new tablet was taken to the cafeteria after I left it on the table. I really need this stuff for school. My tablet is a lot of very personal pics of my late cat. Oh, So I'm willing to pay small cash reward. No questions asked. If you have any details you would like to, on who would like to confess, you know who you are and where I am. Man. October 5th. PC laptop fully loaded. 600 bucks. It's not terrible. That's so messed up. I should contact them to find out what I can do. As if I am. Kind of changes ultra. Oh, Oregon. Okay, so we're in Oregon now. Good fish and fauna. This helped decimate the state. No, you're 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 totally fine. Raise your voice against pollution to save our historic town. Don't let your town down. Full disclosure, I don't, I don't know if six hundred dollars is actually a good price or not. I have to look at what. I wonder what actually happened to her. That's in two thousand thirteen too, so I don't know. Good thing I left my AK at home. Yeah. There's Hayden, another Vortex Club bro. But he's actually not an ass. Good job, Hayden. Oh, I can hardly wait to never be too cool like Nathan and Victoria. Lame. Wait, wait. Coming soon. <sighs> It looks like she's been gone for months. Let me in. Let me in. Nerd alert. This poster has Warren written all over it. Say that again about chess, I dare you. I wanna be in a band, me too. Alright, we got Hayden. Got four more peeps to check out. What's up, Juliet? Oh he's Oh no. Yet another vortex. These two. Figures Juliet would be dating Zachary. Jocks sucked up in the Vortex Club. Yeah. I wonder what actually happened to her. Blackwell sure takes its swimming seriously. But otters are cute. Go otters. Aww. Go Bigfoot. Look at these trophies. Gotta give it up for those Bigfoots. They do stomp. What's up, Sam? God, Samuel is such a weirdo. But I kinda like that about him. You can really learn a lot about a school by the weird shit posted on the board. Sad, lonely, depressed. Come praise with your peers. Bible study, Sundays at noon, and they're kidding Oh, face welcome. Aw. Best singer ever in Oregon looking for best guitarist ever to form a cool band to take over the world. Influences the Ramones, the Shins, the Beatles, the Ramones. <laughs> the Ramones. Again? 
<laughs> oh, the white stripes, the Ramones, the Smiths. The Smiths do kind of slap, though. The Who, the Ramones. Style, Council, the Ramones. <laughs> Lady Gaga. No calls before 4 p.m. after 6.35 on weekdays. Swim like an otter. Experienced retired PE teacher and former otter champion will personally train you to glide through the water and embrace your inner otter. Tablet for sale. Containing five gear plates of cap. No! You give that back. That's so sad. Give it back. It's got his leak cats in it. You know, that's so sad. What's up, Trevor? He's cute. I like skater boys. Too bad they don't like me. Honey, I don't think you want anything to do with. Oh! It says beer because it's a bear deer. I thought it was just like, actually just beer. <laughs> That's kind of funny, actually. My favorite time of year. I respect it. I respect it. There's the lighthouse again. Oh, I don't even. I don't even have to go to the to the bathroom. I can just go to main campus. Okay. students ever actually memorize all this shit? I guess we all should these days. I don't know if it'll let me. Oh, Miss Grant, hello. Miss Grant is a great science teacher. What's up, Miss Grant? Principal doesn't come out of his office much. <laughs> She's a real one. Our class, okay. Nobody can see my meltdown, except for me. Okay, change my mind. My frame rate back. Juliet and Zachary love forever. Oh, oh, lovely, lovely. Now, who would bother to write that crap? Um. <gasps> I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? Take a picture. Yes. I, I, if you won't, I will. Hold still, Max. I line up the camera. Or the crown, I should say. Okay. Uh, kind of. Uh, kind of. Come on. Max, look straight. There you go. Hold still. Yeah. We did it. Okay. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. No, Sam. Or er, Max. Where'd Sam come from? When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Kate twerks for God. This poster must drive people to have sex. Absence makes the heart grow fonder. I'm good to flow. Thanks. Oh, 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 oh. It's not what I thought it was. Whoa, where did that butterfly come from? 
It doesn't look like any kind I've ever seen before. The blue wings are practically glowing. I, I can almost feel the air moving around me. The butterfly feels almost like a spirit. Excuse me. It's cool, Nathan. Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just come to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing okay. around with. Okay. What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Whoa. What the fuck? Bites the dust, too. How, how can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. Hey. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From colors. Now Kate is being hassled again. We got our stand. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Oh shit! Can you give me an example of a Man, photographer? I cannot believe this. Captured the human condition in black and white. Okay, if I'm crazy, I might as well go all the way. Can I actually reverse time? Victoria? Why Arvis? Why Arvis? There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? No. I did it. I actually did it. A photographer who perfectly I'm captured a human the time machine. Anybody? Max, Bueller? don't yeah, freak yeah. out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her Keep images. it together, Max. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers. When I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. If he does again, I'll know this is for real. Keep that. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a. Selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming this. It's real. I can tell. So I can go back in time. Selfie expression. What if that girl isn't dead yet? Can I save her? Superhero arc. Superhero arc. I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max. Since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I actually don't remember. I feel sick. I have to use the bathroom. Um, I feel sick. I'm sorry. I feel sick. May I be excused? Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here? Shit. Knows Jefferson wants to keep me after no. class. No. And I need time to save that girl. Rewind, rewind. Tell him what he wants. To give portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. Shut what up. if I rewind again and give him the right answer? Use <laughs> your 
that. What? Yeah. Um. Oh. Since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self portraits? I, 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 I cheated. The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. The Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more okay. when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. Yeah. And guys, Definitely. Don't the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday totally. Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be fed by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, oh. don't hide. Oh. For your entry too. And yes, Max. Um, you, you missed it. I accidentally called Max Sam. And I was like, where the heck did Sam come from? And I was like, oh yeah, the kitty cat. You're not dreaming. <laughs> it's time to be an everyday hero. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Even if you're submitting your photo for the competition, everybody in class is turning in a photo. So, you see the dilemma? Excuse me, I'm just gonna. I see you, Max. Call now, me. Yeah, it Don't even mm. think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. It. Oh. Uh. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Thanks, buddy. Um, I'm not avoiding. I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life yeah, is what happens while you're busy <laughs> making other plans. Go on. Thing. Don't let me stop you. Uh, to quickly undo your previous action. I can do that? No way! In a photo, so you see the dilemma. Yo, Jefferson. excuse me, excuse me, Mr. sir. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Oh, now you're really cheating. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. Dang. <laughs> we do a little cheating. <laughs> I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. Max, do not, do not say it like that. They'll think I'm crazy. Stop it. <laughs> Okay, Max, retrace every step. You are not affected by face. the rewind. You chain facts and inventory objects. Then it's crazy. Butterfly flew in, and I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan pressed. Said what? <laughs> <laughs> who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. <laughs> Yippee. Know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? <laughs> Come on, put that finger uh, out. Tell me what no, he has a gun. I should do something else. Uh, you are going the, to get in hell. Like what? Like what, Max? Oh, yes. More trouble for this I need a hammer to break it open. <laughs> Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this hurry, than drugs. Hurry, hurry, Nobody hurry. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? No way. Don't ever touch me again, freak. Hey, we're going to ignore the fact that I think that's a felony. Until you save someone's life. Did not happen. This cannot be real. 
I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? And you still tore up the picture. Do not freak out. Why? Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? Bro, mean by that? Whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Matson. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Mr. Madsen. <laughs> Principal Wells. Principal Wells always looks so distracted. Mr. Mosby. I can never figure out what he's thinking. Does he hate me? You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm... Just a little worried about my future. Are you sweating pinballs? Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. Report Nathan. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I don't have any proof. I think you picked up the gun. It's a it's a serious accusation. Then again, what good is hiding the truth going to do? It'll hide the fact that temporarily hide the fact that I activated the fire alarm, but that's not it's really important here now, is it? I think I'm just gonna yeah. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott? You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. That high roll. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. Yeah. So what happened next? Then... Then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is... serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's You're welcome, it? Pookie. After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside <laughs> with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course, this action will have consequences. Won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Dog. I can change my story. No, honesty is the best policy, Max. I think it's going to work out for you. Principal Wells always looks so distracted. I can never figure out what he's thinking. Well, I had the truth. I don't care how wealthy his family is. I don't care how much of a benefactor he is to the school. That's dangerous. He can not believe you if he wants, but it's the frickin' truth. Yeah. Oh. So pretty. Yeah, you, oh, you too. Oh. <laughs> I saw a squirrel. Ooh, you're in trouble. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. You bet I'm going to hear from Nathan here in, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a bit. Rachel Amber. She looks so hopeful and pretty. I wonder what happened to her. Rachel Amber. 
She what? looks so hopeful and pretty. I wonder what happened to her. I'm really scared to buy like Amazon jewelry so it's like from like destroying my skin, but Oh. Do you have a problem with that stuff usually? Um, I have like something like my ears are super sensitive, but I don't think it's like Mm. Yeah. <gasps> squirrel, 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 squirrel. Hey, buddy. Me freaking out every time I saw a squirrel on campus. Miss Grant sure is dedicated to that petition. What's up, Miss Grant? Excuse me, Max. I know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition. Wait, you, are you do alarmed? Would you a favor and hear me out? <laughs> sure, I always have time for you. What's <laughs> the petition? David Madsen, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. Yeah. Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high security penitentiary. David Madsen. Okay, this is kind of a pet peeve. Um, I understand why they do this. Like when they when they be general in the dialogue choices, but they don't tell you what you're actually going to say. But I guess it's not that big of a deal here since I can just rewind time. Could have helped Rachel. Could it have, though? What? It's crazy. David Madsen. Oh, boo. Ah, I could have helped Rachel. I don't think it would have, though. Because I don't think that there's no way they'd be able to get away with putting cameras in the bathroom. I, I guess it might have, but. David Madsen doesn't need another excuse to harass students here. Max, this isn't about personalities. This is a This is a pet peeve for me. Because all it said was David Madsen. And then what she actually said was like completely different. About protecting civil rights and our school's legacy of freedom. Blackwell Academy has a noble heritage. From the Native Americans who founded this land to the yeah. pioneers who shared it in peace. Not fear and violence. Wait, what did you just say? Native Americans? The Native Americans? The tribes who were here first, who welcomed the settlers. Both cultures found a mutual symbiosis and thrived. Now, before I assign you homework with this lecture, will you please sign the petition to keep our campus from going back to 1984? Uh, 
Sure. Absolutely. I don't mind security, but not pure surveillance. I knew you were my favorite new student at Blackwell for a good reason. I hate this action will have consequences. <laughs> Holy crap, I have to go back 80 years for this. <laughs> Dang. What up? Hi, Yo, what up? Excuse me, Max. I know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition. But would you do Miss Yeah, no, you're right. Just the fact that they can't do that. Does make it a bit better here. Ah, uh, yeah. Sure, I always have time for you. What's the petition? I always have David time for Madsen, you. Okay. Our chief of security wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus, halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high security penitentiary. It's crazy. What's crazy? That's crazy. That's crazy. I get why school should be on high alert these days, but cameras in the dorm rooms. It's a slippery slope. And it's up to you and your classmates to stand up. <laughs> What'd you say? I'm sorry. I'm trying to I'm trying to split my attention between two sources here. What did you... No, you're you're fine. Just just I didn't know what you said. <laughs> What'd you say after that? Oh, criminal offensive. Bombastic side eye. Blackwell Academy has a noble heritage, from the Native Americans who founded this land to the pioneers who shared it in peace, not fear and violence. Max looks so disinterested now that she's already heard this spiel. You know a lot. You know a lot about Blackwell for being the science teacher. Science is history, Max. And I have a secret wish to teach local lore and legends. There's a lot of unique facts about this you might really enjoy discovering. Now, before I assign you homework with this lecture, will you ah. please sign the petition to keep our campus from going back to 1984? So that dialogue tree is the illusion of choice. Absolutely. I don't mind security, but not pure surveillance. I knew you were my favorite new student at Blackwell That's for all right. good reason. I don't mind signing that. I... It makes sense, especially in dorm room. Dorm rooms, that's a bit much. Posters over posters? Somebody really wants to find Rachel Amber. I would so be there if a Sasquatch actually did battle a Razorback. <laughs> Best sauce in Arcadia Bay. Slice that drink for three fifty. Excuse me. Oop, nope, we don't want to be rewinding time anymore, Max. We're good. Um Oh, okay, hold on. Nathan. Just when I thought Victoria Chase would be the worst of my social problems, now I have to deal with Nathan Prescott. But I guess he was the one who triggered my crazy rewind power by shooting that girl in the bathroom. He's already he's 18 and already a scary prick. I guess I have a little advantage on Nathan by being able to manipulate time. But if he shoots me, I may not be able to reverse anything. And that's true. I have to be careful around him, especially since he's obviously got friends in high places. His family his last name is practically branded on every building here at Blackwell. His money against mine. On one hand, I do kind of feel bad for Nathan because he doesn't seem to be in control, like he's doped up or over-medicated. On the other, he's a jerk who nobody has called out, and he almost killed or did kill a girl on campus. Should I go straight to the police? What do I say about my rewind power? Like, I'd say anything. I just have to watch my own back from now on. On s uh, oh, school days. What? Oh, oh, school days. I see. Okay. Yeah. Well, sorry, I was clear, cleaning my glasses. Oh, I swear that security guard is the biggest guy here, biggest jerk here. It's saying a lot. He always treats everybody like they've committed a crime or they're about to commit one. He grilled me in the hall today and I thought he was going to arrest me. I don't know much about him, but I heard he was kicked out of the army or something. So, of course, he would end up at Blackwell Academy in charge of security. 
aren't you supposed to feel, I don't know, secure on campus? Bro dudes, swaggers everywhere, <laughs> swaggers everywhere with that badge and gun, like he's looking to taste somebody. He would make a, uh, a good photo portrait of authority, though. Who is a guy like that, Mary? I feel sorry for his family. He'd be like living in a barracks, shutter, just another person there to avoid a black, black will collect them all. Uh. I can't figure out where Principal was is coming from. For some reason, he seems to be suspicious of me at all times. Who knew I was that much trouble? He wanted to know why I was zoning out in the halls. I stuttered like a fool. He has so much power over my scholarship, I get uber nervous around him. I've seen him laughing with other teachers and students, so I know he must have a problem with... What? Anxiety much? <coughs> Boo-boo. I've seen him laughing with other teachers and students, so I know he must have a problem... Oh, I see what you mean. I see. He also seems a little stressed out. I would be too if I had to oversee Blackwell and all its drama. I thought I smelled alcohol in his breath, but that could have been his cologne, right? But I remember my first time meeting in his office, and he was so nice, it made me feel like I was becoming part of a special world. He said he hoped I would become a great photographer and someday return the favor to Blackwell. I thought that was a bit of wishful thinking, but it made me feel good. I just need to lay low around him until I can somehow gain his trust. Q. Q, Q. Um. <laughs> Excuse me. There we go. You threw your phone on your bed? Oh. Uh. At least I'm trying. What is my parent telling me of all the time in the world? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Uh. October 7th, this will be the weirdest journal entry I will ever make, so weird I don't know how or where to start, but I started with the most vivid dream of my life. I was lost in a storm by the lighthouse until I came to the edge of the cliff. And I saw a giant tornado head for Arcadia Bay. It was so real that I could feel the rain stinging in my face, and I was scared. And a boat hit the lighthouse, and I swear I actually felt like I was going to die. But I woke up in Mr. Jefferson's class, and I wasn't even sleeping. I almost fell out of my chair. Jefferson called on me, but I totally blew the answer. Of course, Victoria pounced on me. She made me look like a bigger idiot. She's so awful that I didn't have the guts to turn a photo for the Everyday Heroes contest while Victoria did her usual suck up to Jefferson. He's so cool and he clearly wants me to succeed. Uh, I felt so bad. I just wanted to get to the bathroom to be alone and wash my face after that nightmare or daymare. Once I got to the bathroom, I saw this odd, beautiful blue butterfly flutter in and right when I took a photo of it in the corner, Nathan Prescott came in freaking out, talking to himself. I hid in the corner and this punk girl came in and they started arguing about drugs and money. Then Nathan actually whipped out a gun and shot the girl. Oh, 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 so that girl's name isn't Rachel. Uh, we were talking about the missing girl on the surveillance cameras. Okay, my bad. Um, this is where it gets strange. When Nathan fired the gun, I came around the corner and reached out for some dumb reason as if I could stop the bullet. Suddenly, I could feel the world twisting around me and this pressure in my head. Everything seemed to rewind, and I found myself right back in class at my desk. I literally thought I had been dosed with some drug until I calmed myself down. I saw everything happen in class the way it did before. Major groundhog deja vu. Oh, that's somehow I was able to actually rewind time. I knew the only way to find out if I was having a breakdown was to go back to the bathroom and see if I could save that girl from Nathan this time. I had no idea how either. I just knew I couldn't live with myself if I let her die again. I escaped Jefferson this time by knowing exactly how to answer his questions and rushed to the bathroom. I hid in the corner again and I couldn't believe it when Nathan showed up, freaking out all over again. Then the girl came into the bathroom before Nathan could shoot her. I smashed open the ancient fire alarm and scared both of them away. Victory. Until I got grilled by security chief, David Madsen, who thinks he's Chuck Norris, Blackwell Ranger. Nathan Prescott almost kills a girl in the bathroom, but no, I'm the problem. <laughs> I was so glad when Principal Wells stepped in to shoot David away. <laughs> then I made the possibly fatal decision to inform Principal Wells that I saw Nathan waving the gun in the bathroom. I didn't think I should mention the girl on my new rewind abilities for obvious reasons. He didn't want to believe me and almost made me feel like crap for telling him that Blackwell's most big deal student carry a firearm to class. I couldn't tell him they actually killed the girl in the previous timeline. So my school day started with an apocalyptic green dream then ended with saving a life and discovering I have some kind of power to rewind time. I don't know how to top that. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Accurate. Wait a minute. Uh, what's the new stuff here? What am I missing? Uh, 
There's still a star on it. Prologue. And then Monday. Yeah, how do I get rid of this star? I read everything, game. Whatever. Just have to live with it. Yo, what up? What's up, Hayden? There's Hayden in his Vortex Club harem. He sure is living the dream. Oh. Uh, uh, okay. Hey, Hayden. There she is. The retro selfie master. That's me, all right. You look relaxed as usual, Hayden. It's a skill one cultivates at Blackwell. Especially when one represents the Vortex Club. Not the most. Uh... Let's talk later. Let's talk later, Hayden. Bye, Max. No. Oh. I no. have to get my chemical on and study. We should get you and Dana out one night. No thanks. Uh... I want to go back... Um... Hey, I actually Hayden. wanted to talk to you. There she is. Yes! Yes, I know! <laughs> okay, I can skip this. Oh wait, or can I? All right, I just okay. Uh, let's talk about Nathan. Do you really want Nathan Prescott to represent? Oh, please. Nathan is like everybody's voodoo doll. Kill the rich kid. He's all right and a fun guy to hang with. Fuck the haters. He does seem unstable. He seems genuinely unstable to me. Nate has his extreme moments, but don't we all? I don't know yet, Hayden. Yeah. What the hell is the Vortex Club anyway? It seems so elitist. Only if you're not cool enough to get in. And it doesn't hurt your resume. If you say so. I do. But you should actually come hang with us one night. Then you wouldn't be so inclined to gossip. I, I'm gonna hard pass on that I don't think so I'm not miss party that's because you haven't partied with us or even Victoria who's pretty funny when she's baked what the seems... oh. I have to think about partying with all those Rachel Amber posters up you're high Rachel used to hang out with the <coughs> she was a blast smart not bitchy like you know like who? So you knew Rachel Amber? I knew she liked to party. <laughs> Fun to be around. Oh yeah, and she was hot. Did Victoria like Rachel? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, do you know what happened to her? What do you think happened to her? Um, uh, whatever happens to people who disappear without a trace. Rachel was actually a member of the Vortex Club? No. Rachel was like her own club. She was actually too cool for us. And I'll deny I ever said that. Did Victoria like Rachel? She seems like the jealous type. Don't think you know Victoria so well. She respected Rachel, even if she didn't act like it. I'm more confused than before. It's such a mystery. Let's talk, talk later, later. Hayden. Okay, good. Is, Max. Now, I have to get my chemical on and study. We should get you and Dana out one night. Yeah, he's nice enough. Yeah. Yeah. What? Max, can I get my flash drive? In the lot. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. All in due time, I'm exploring. Yo, uh, I forget your name. 
Brooke actually has a Brooke. drone. Oh, that's a drone. I thought that was a kite. Wait, where'd he go? Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? Uh. Sure. I'd love to. I love planes and balloons and this is neither. Do you know what a drone really is? Do you know what a drone uh, what really is? is? Right? Okay. Uh, you read too many conspiracy sites. This might be too complicated for you. Funny. <laughs> Warren said you were smart. Oh my gosh. I I dislike you. Respectfully. I'm almost sure Warren has the same bag. It looks a bit nerdy though. <laughs> I'm almost sure Warren has the same bag. It looks same a bit bag. nerdy though. Yeah. What a complicated Whoa. name for such a tiny drone. High fly Evo B400. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was a little concerned of. It's like, like it's just you reached for the bag, and I was like, oh, Max. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, I mean, I guess I could rewind. Wait, why would I do that? What a complicated name for such a tiny drone. Ah, uh, I know what drone that is. Um, actually, that's a B400 Evo Fly. <laughs> um, actually. Hi, bro. Let me guess. Let me guess. I don't like you. That's a high fly. That um, actually. Like a high fly drone. Model B400 EVO. Now that's a nice piece of tech. You're full of surprises. Why would you know that? I love aerial um, photography. Um, Drones are perfect for that, especially those with great range. It's a new era of images. Most impressive, Max. Warren said you were multifaceted. Here, give the drone a whirl around campus. Oh, for real? Oh, I can fly. Ah, oh, based. This is gonna crash. This is gonna end horribly. Is this legal? This is essentially. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Dang, Max, where did you learn to fly a drone like that? Right into the tree branches, okay. Okay, are we done? Yeah, we're done. Thanks. I, you're still a little snobby, but... Does it say, come... Uh, come crap your pants. Is that what that says? Are you for real? <laughs> Don't be. Hey, yo. Oh, that's not nice. Poor little otter. Oh, is that what that is? Ew, gross. At least switch to e-cigs. Switch to e-cigs? I mean, I, I, I get squirrel. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They sure get a lot of mileage out of water power. Water power. Nope, I... Otter power? I'm so not there. <laughs> okay. And this is where the otters perform their aquatic magic. I don't want to go that way. I don't want to go that way? Well, too bad. 
going swimming. Posters over posters? Somebody. I, 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 you stop that. Really wants to find Rachel Amber. I'm sure this poster has stopped me. <laughs> much information be here now multitasking keeps you busy but not alive social media is no replacement for reality come visit the buddhist center bible study we can join fellow christians to rediscuss thanks and god bless oh bully much no bully thinks they're a bully so think about that before you bully <laughs> if you think you become a bully, please go to www.bullyforyou, or we'll stand up for you. No. He didn't. Warren's waiting for me and his flash drive in the parking lot, so I better get back to my dorm. Yeah. 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 Sorry, I was absolutely enamored by that guy in a perfectly still pose in the background there. Now I have to go back to the dorm. This day never ends. <laughs> he doesn't know. Um, actually, that's a B400, uh, high fly. Roll. I fly I could go or B400. Now. <laughs> <laughs> On a quest for magic and adventure. Ah, oh, this is my kind of my, my kind of place. Oh no. Roll the 20 sided dice. Join Blackwell Science Gamers Group. Cosplay and women welcome. Oh, buddy. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please have knowledge of basic gaming rules and etiquette. Oh, that's so sad. That's that's definitely the place I would hang out. Yeah. <laughs> you you. I could go for a burger now. Cosplay and women welcome. Oh boy. Future needs excellence. Jeremiah Blackwell. Burbs. <laughs> I bet the Blackwell founders would shit cats if they saw today's student body walking around like zombies on their phones. That's an odd choice of words. Thanks for the coins. Hey, yo. This is a great image. All those rippling green coins. I hope everybody got their wish. Make me famous. Then F. Okay. Can my dad be okay? <laughs> Please go ahead and kill me. Oh. Please find me a BF for prom. <laughs> this day has been so insane. Everything is happening too fast. And none of it makes any sense. These visions, this power. I keep expecting to wake up one more time. You have a moment. This is a dream, then. I'm not asleep, which means somehow I did rewind time. So there has to be a reason, and I have to find out why. Just some acoustic in the background. Oh, I can just sit here.
That's me photograph. Oh. Uh. 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 I was stuck. Oh no. What does that say? I just want to graduate. Oh, mood. Hey, girlies. Stella always looks so serious and dedicated. Good for her. Hey, Stella. Hey there, Stella. Hey, I know you. You're the new quiet girl in Jefferson's class. Isn't he incredible? He's so dreamy. What? Sure. Sexual. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's a professional. Yeah, well, me too. <laughs> he's aloof. He seems like he's always above you. Not like a snob, but like you don't know what's in his head. Maybe. Mr. Jefferson Ooh. just has his own style. If Victoria wasn't all over him, I would definitely make a move. Nothing wrong with that. You're never too old to buy chalk. Oh, that explains why. Uh, that explains a lot, actually. That, ex that, that explains why. Uh, why you why you why you hang out with me? I'll stop. I know, I was just teasing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You, you, you're you right, but... Uh, yeah. <laughs> Being a little silly. Ignore me. Uh, I forget what we were talking about. Uh, I meant with uh, Stella. I'll probably have to rewind this conversation anyways. Now that you mention it, he doesn't respond to Victoria's flirting. That means he has good taste. You have a lot to learn. What's that? Oh. Oh, no, you're, you're good. You know Blackwell, Rachel Amber absolutely had sex with him. Well, I heard that from a good source. Um, doubt. So, you knew Rachel? Not really. I saw her hanging with the other cool kids like Victoria. Not my kind of clip. But I heard insane stories about Rachel. <laughs> hey there, Stella. Hey, I know you. You're the new quiet girl in Jefferson's class. <laughs> Isn't he incredible? Isn't he incredible? He's aloof. He's aloof. He seems like he's always above you. Not like a snob, but like you don't know what's in his He's head. a creep. Maybe. Mr. Jefferson just has his own style. He's a If Victoria weirdo. wasn't all over him, I would definitely make a move. See, this is a really strange thing for a high schooler to say. Just saying. Now that you mentioned Yeah, that's really weird. Not really. I saw her hanging 
Alright, I would have chosen the same thing anyways. That's so cool that Blackwell is doing a show of Mr. Jefferson's work. <laughs> that's so <laughs> that's so funny I love that <laughs> I've never seen it before <laughs> I don't know where they came from I kind of want to see him that's so cool that Blackwell is doing a show of Mr. Jefferson's work <laughs> that's so funny I love pranks like that Mr. Jefferson has such a gift for different styles. Oh, Mark Jefferson retrospective. Hey, Daniel. What's up, buddy? Daniel is always drawing something. He makes me look like an extrovert. I see the bunnies. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. What's up, Daniel? Oh, hi, Max. Could I um, ask you a question? Would you mind letting me sketch you? I do put my sketches on Facebook, though. Um, a little odd, but sure. I'd be honored, Daniel. Makes me feel news. <laughs> Funny you should say that. I was just thinking about my real news. Rachel Amber. Uh... You knew her? No, but once she asked me to draw a <laughs> portrait, oh, she was a natural. So what happened to her? There's got to be a story. She just stopped coming to class. Some people. What? What? What is it? Oh. She's popular. Like, like okay. Who said she ran away? Some say she jumped off a cliff. I just hope she's okay. Hard to avoid her posters all over campus. Kills me to see her sweet face used as a crime photo. Ah, she had a good heart. Okay, why don't you start drawing me? Even though I must be a step down from Rachel. No way, you're a good substitute, Muse. Without Warren's just waiting for oh, me to that's a good posture. get the flash drive to him right now, and I'm just chilling here with Daniel. Good. It's like, Max, where were you? Uh, yeah, I was talking to er literally everybody on campus. Best portrait ever. <laughs> that's really good, not gonna lie. Actual of consequences. Oh no! Oh no! Public sketch of I don't know. I genuinely. Hey, talk to me. Hey, hey. Oh, I should have known he was too cool for me. He was a skater boy. Oh, hey, dude, bro. Love the love love the soul patch. There's Justin and his skater posse. They're so cute doing their tricks. Yo, Justin. Check out the mat. Come to thrash. Thrash? Thrash? You mean stage diving or? You're such a poser. If you can't even name a simple nose slide or a tray flip, you should walk on. 
Um, do, 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 I, do, I, excuse me, I know all about skating. Definitely. <laughs> I'm suddenly knowledgeable in everyone's interests. Crazy. Yo, Justin. Check out the mat. Come to thrash? Uh, I came to no slide, dog. You know, I'm all about the all Ollie one eighties, or you know what I'm I talking about. No slide, but I'd love to see somebody do a tree flip. Oh, sick! You're not a poser. Nah. That's <laughs> so silly. I didn't know the tricks. He says you're such a poser. I know the tricks. He says you're so not a poser. I just can't skateboard shit. <laughs> oh, check it. We're gonna destroy some rails for you. What do you want to see? Uh. You tree flip, bro. Tree flip. Let's get Trevor all over that action. Okay, you're actually kind of nice. So I, I apologize for my regard earlier. Oh, 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 oh. We hurt the boy. <laughs> Did you take a photo of him? From writhing in pain? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, dude, bro. Oh. Hold on. Oh, hold up. Oh, wait, can I just go back? Uh. What? No. No. Yeah. Yo. Crash. Oh, man, I came to the nose slide. See a tray flip. Let's get Trevor all over that action. What? No, seriously, what? You're you're so right. What actually happened? <laughs> I don't think Obviously he is. can't go there. <laughs> Kids on the bus. They threw a peanut at him. I, w or you know, I could just go on the sidewalk. That's something I. That's something I could do. <laughs> Is it not? <laughs> can't go, obviously can't. Obviously can't go that way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, bro, that's a, it's a, I, I'm not gonna lie, I thought that muffin was a mushroom. That's Luke Parker. Zachary pushed him into a locker last week. Go bullies. Luke Parker. Uh, hello? Max, I don't feel like talking. <laughs> Leave him alone, you had a bad day. What's wrong? Nathan Prescott, little rich bitch kid. He thinks he can own people like his parents own Blackwell. Like he owns the Vortex Club. Yes, he's a nasty piece of work. Yes. You you know him. Unfortunately. Um not really. I've seen him around. Sounds like you know way more than that. Max, tell me. Uh, um did be um Nope, not spreading rumors. Nope, he's just an entitled dick with a lot of money. Not my type. Somebody needs to take that prick down. Probably end up taking himself down. He'll take himself down. Yeah, history always proves that, right? Just wait for justice, you sheeple. <laughs> yeah. Did she even say hello? I didn't even realize. Clever. Vortex Club sucks. Ha ha ha. Also, this man really just said, wait for justice, sheeple. Okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. I need to go there and grab Warren's flash drive. Look, I see what you're saying, but also, <laughs> why? Hey, Evan. What's up, my guy? 
I think his name is Evan. He always looks so intense. So Evan's intense. portfolio always looks so uber pro. I'd love to see his photos in there. Hey, Evan. Mind if I check out your cool portfolio? Let's see if you're worthy of it, Max. You'll have to answer a simple question. Who photographed the famous fallen soldier? I don't know, but I have a feeling I'm about to I'm about to be very knowledgeable on the subject. Let's go with the most French name I see. Isn't it Robert Dorno? Oh my. You can't even tell the difference between street photography and photojournalism. No portfolio peak for you. No portfolio peak for you. That's why you're wrong, buddy. Get wrecked, idiot. <laughs> hey, Evan. Mind if I check out your cool <laughs> Let's see if you're worthy of it, Max. You'll have to answer a simple question. <laughs> Who photographed the famous fallen soldier? Who photographed the famous... <laughs> Robert Kappa, of course. I love his work, despite the controversy about that photo. My, my. This quiet child knows things. That's why I'm here. Dude, you... You and that chick with the drone would be a power couple. You're a kindred spirit, Max. Would you care for a perusal of my portfolio? I don't think I want to see your portfolio anymore. I'd be no, honest. I don't. I don't think I want to see it anymore. <laughs> My lady. These photos are great. And Rachel Amber's face is mesmerizing. <laughs> she's spying on, on, on us because she actually has a crush on him because he's snobby like her. I'm being so mean. Yeah. Rachel, um, uh, I haven't been able to take a picture of the squirrel yet. I'm so sad. Hey, let, let me let me photograph you. Also, this is just the most chill squirrel ever. Doesn't even care. Walk right up to him. Hi. Are you? Okay, have fun. Finally going to the dorm. Did I get any more profiles? No, not really. Neat. Go to the dormitories. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I love that. Oh, oh, he just said bra. It hurt. Come on, Logan, bring it, bra. You feel me, bra? I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. I, I. I'm not going to say anything. I'm going to behave. The Prescott Dormitory? Good lord, Nathan's family owns my dorm? <laughs> Yippee! <laughs> Nathan's family owns my dorm. Yeah, okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. That's kind of valid. I could, I could probably very. Glad to see our campus is eco-friendly. The whole mess with Nathan could probably blow up my face. I'm not careful, but like, I had to say something. Rachel owes the money. Don't take it out on the tree, loser. You tell him. What's up, Alyssa? I feel like Alyssa and I should be better friends. What up, what up? Oh. Hi, Max. Dude. What are you reading? Love today or die forever. Don't even say anything. It's a bestseller. What to say? Good point. Now, if you'll excuse me. 
Okay. Fair enough. You're reading. No. Hey, Logan Robertson, all American asshole. What's up, Logan? Bro, you can't take a picture. You gotta wait till Friday's game. No. It's a totem pole. Awesome. Zachary always looks like he'd rather be throwing back a beer than a football. Football, Max. Big football. Step away. <laughs> okay, buddy. Sweet. Hey, Kate. Glad to see our campus is eco-friendly. There's Kate, looking sadder than usual. Staring at a whole lot of nothing. You good, Chief? Hi, Kate. Hey, Max. I'll test the waters. He looked down. You okay? I'm kind of over humanity today. Sorry to be a drama queen. Is there anything... Max, I'd like to be alone, if you don't mind. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, it's valid. I don't blame you. Oh, just look at it. Warren told me that totem is named Tabanga for a reason nobody knows. Nice, Tabanga. Bro. Um, Samuel. Okay, mm -hmm. I wasn't gonna remember your name. Good old Samuel. Some people are creeped out by him. And he's not creepy. Just X Files weird. Howdy, Samuel. Well, hello there. Dwight Schrute. Hello. You look busy, Samuel. Well, I'm always up to something. Today it's sweeping. Then painting windows. Just don't paint over the posters for nice. Rachel Amber. You can't color over that sunlight. You knew Rachel? How can you know a prism? You're just staring off. Nice, now I have to go paint windows. What was she like? She must have been popular. Even sunlight can cast shadows. Rachel did both at once, you know. This guy speaks in enigmas. Like Positive and negative. What do you think happened to her? Best not to dwell on the past. Samuel looks awesome. forward. Like a clock. And he speaks in the third person. Samuel. And watch you step around here, Max. After I sweep, I paint. I like him. He's nice. He has a he has a very unique turn of phrase. Um hey Jim Jim mind kindly moving out of the way. Oh shit. There's Victoria and her mean girls. Oh look, it's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. Okay. <laughs> Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. Um. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. Keep hey, walking, hippie. It's not like you can't walk around them. <laughs> Sorry, no paparazzi allowed. Okay. I could crank the sprinkler up and give Victoria and her clones incentive to beat it. Yeah. Okay. 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 What? Oh. 
Oh, do you, do you want me to wrap it up so you don't fall asleep? Oh, this is a Rube Goldberg machine just waiting. A Rube Goldberg machine just waiting to happen. I can feel it. There's something in the water. Okay, now where exactly is the sprinkler valve? Dooby dooby doo ba dooby dooby doo ba dooby dooby doo ba dooby dooby doo ba. Perry, he's a semi-aquatic, eight-legged mammal. Eight-legged? I must have missed something. I should rewind. Sam, what are you? Sam, look what you've done to me. Thanks. Oh, egg laying. That's it's not eight legged, it's egg laying. Semi aquatic egg laying mammal of action. Dooby dooby doo ba dooby dooby doo ba. Yeah. Damn, I missed something. I better rewind. What am I missing? I'm gonna go this way. Tamper with the bucket? Oh. Okay, let's see if this works. Um. Hmm. A paint bucket next to Victoria. I see a plan. Um. Okay, this seems mean. Paint is what water. The sprinklers are one thing, but the paint is another entirely. Um. Hang on. Ah, I feel bad about that. Okay. <laughs> Squirrel. Ah, pardon me, Samuel. I'll just be going here and flipping the sprinklers on. This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. Sure does. What the hell? <laughs> Are you kidding? Look at this. Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Exactly. It's just water. It's water not paint. On my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. I, I did the sprinklers. Paint seems a little too far. Um, what do you mean? Hey, do you understand? Are you? Okay. Get lost. Valid. Boo. Is that just like to get them in position or something? Uh -huh. Okay. Man, I, th I thought it was like I could be extra mean if I wanted to. Okay, let's see if this works. <laughs> what the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this. She gets she gets very. Uh, I don't know. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. Oh, oh, honey, honey, you've got a big storm coming. <laughs> oh, no, Samuel's going to catch flack for this. I can already tell. No way! No fucking way! Okay, Victoria? Oh, Samuel, sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair, nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. No! Oh, I... What? Oh. Hold on, hold on. No, I just, I just, I, I, I have trouble focusing on two things at once. But I don't mind at all, really. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Samuel, I'm so sorry. It's the squirrel in here. There are squirrels in my pants. S-I-M-P squirrels in my pants. Kate, you should have you should have seen that. It was pretty funny. Sweet. You would have liked it. 
You okay? Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. It was. But there'll be another. No. Oh. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon-esque. He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. Oh. I hope those sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. And uh, then, okay. Well, then you then you went and said that. <laughs> you deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and and the go fuck your selfie. That was mean, but pretty funny. It was funny. I'll it's give you that. One of those days, you know. I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. I'll see you later. Au revoir. There. I feel better about that situation now. Victoria probably played me. I should have played her. Better get to my room before I find Warren. Bum, 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 bum. I didn't have a choice in the end, so we respect it. What the heck happened in here? Victoria is going to be pissed we took so long. <laughs> See, oh crap. Blackwell isn't that big, but it sure feels like a labyrinth. Welcome to Black Hill. Stella. Ugh, chill. Stella, Taylor, Christensen, Juliet Watson, Dana Ward, Kate Marsh, Max Caulfield, Victor. Ah, oh, I'm right across from Victoria. Lovely. Brooke Scott. Um, I didn't even notice. Welcome to Black Hill. Oh, you're so right. I should hope so. <laughs> HIV and AIDS aren't just initials on a poster. These are serious life-threatening diseases and nobody's immune from exposure. Get the facts now. Uh, the reward for the backpack uh, to the person that stole my cream. That was expensive and I need it for my acne. I know exactly how it exfoliates and I'll be watching <laughs> I'll be watching your skin the second it clears Don't up. Grant. <laughs> Not sure if I will though. I'm a loser. Don't let Big Brother watch you. <laughs> no, I snorted. Um, <laughs> an intrusive surveillance system can be installed by the end of the school year at Blackwell Academy. Members of the faculty and student council will hold a public forum to inform and discuss this important issue. Please come speak out against this invasion of privacy. October 18th. Key day. Looks like Rick Astley, almost. Well, maybe not, actually. Red Rum. Room 217. No way in hell am I ever going in here. No way. Based Welcome reference. Welcome to Black Hill. Taylor is a slave? Welcome to Black Hill. Why? Is this a Vortex Club or a Victoria Club initiation? Truly pathetic. Uh, Taylor and Courtney, okay. Is yeah. this a Vortex Club or a Victoria Club initiation? Truly pathetic. No boys allowed. As if. Juliet, read this week's edition of the Blackwell Totem. Seriously, who cares? No. Juliet, extreme reporter. Totally 80s film night. Based. Stop, Bigfoot. Shane is still a cheerleader at heart. I'd love to make a photo collage of every person who posted these. Don't be afraid. Be ready. Young guns training. Even under 21, you can still learn how to operate firearms. AKs. 
Rod Africa, whatever. Fun, safe, and perfect plastic replicas. Young guys and gals for Black Oil. Ignore big dogs. What? Man, people here are merciless. Safe, not sorry, no matter how much you like each other. One slip. <laughs> Can I pet that dog? See Kate's video for proof. What the heck happened? What's what? Can you hear me? Yes, we all can. Please respect your floor. Neighbors, be quiet in the halls at 10 p.m. Quiet hours. Quiet hours. Nice atmospheric shot. Needs dusting. Needs dusting. What? Oh, they were getting the toilet paper. Looks like nobody won this TP war. There's nothing left but ghosts. Wait, is that what they were doing? At least that's an alarm from this century. Valid. This girl must have been popular. She's everywhere. We get it, she's missing. Somebody has gone crazy with these posters. Be alert on campus. Always be aware of your location. Always let a friend know where you are or where you're going. Always report any incident immediately to the campus authorities. Okay. Spike will lead you anywhere. $20 delivery for $5 more. Huh. It's a really cheap bike. Geek girls. Sorry, geek girls. You for like minded souls to read and discuss authors Ursula K. Le Guin, Robin Hobb, Neil Gaiman, Piers Anthony, Terry Brooks, David Calville, Marion Zimmer Bradley, and the usual flying dragon stuff. No boy wizards or sad vampire fiction allowed. <laughs> no boys, period. Thanks for the warning. Showers. Um, showers open. Are you sure about that? Looks like they were just cleaned. No balls allowed. <laughs> they live. Social media is a time and place. Sure. Sure. No. Okay, this is just mean and stupid. I can do I can do better. Hey. This is like the public DNA of our dorm. Don't let depression keep you down. Everyone gets sad and lonely. If you need somebody to talk to. Um, okay. Diamond case phone. Last seen at Vortex Club Party. Please return to Austin Found. Prescott Dormitory. Thank you. Statistics tutors. Help, it's been almost a month of stats, I still don't understand. Me too, buddy. Is this math or philosophy with graphs? Graphs. Help will pay if you get me an A. Courtney. Huh. Meat is still murder. Join the Blackwell Vegan Club. Veggie potluck at every meeting. Girls' night out. Halloweeny scream along. Nightmare before Christmas. Buy a monthly and buy a friendly. Winky face. Wait, stream along? What does that mean? Max's room. Be the change you wish to see. Oh, Victoria, give me a fucking break. <laughs> Bruh, that's a good quote. If but it's what's this poster really trying to tell me? This is your planet, and when it comes to detecting the environment, you're the boss. 
Oh, I was distracted by the bottom right. It's up to us to make a choice. Okay. Why though? <laughs> What's going on? 3.14 pi pi. Brooke. Warren should be all over Brooke. They're perfect for each other. Oh, honey. Oh, it's backwards. That's clever. The forks. What do we got here? How sad. I didn't write anything. I have nothing to say. What's on your mind, Max? Oh, me too. Obvious, but true. Oh, the teddy bear. Home sweet home. My favorite cocoon. Hold on a minute. The winger and the cow. Is that supposed to be like a catcher in the rye thing? Max, your principal sent me. Yeah. No, you're fine. Discord latency. <laughs> principal sent me an email saying that he told some tall tales about a Blackwell honor student. Is this true? The principal said this was a serious false charge and these words you're telling stories. Call me ASAP. Mom, I'm going to need you on my side for this one. I haven't forgotten you, little Lisa. Yet. Kind of scuffed the you know. Yeah, I probably framed it poorly. You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. What is it called? I haven't Lisa, forgotten Lisa. You, Lisa. Yet. That's cute. One day I'll organize my film collection. One day I'll get an actual HD TV. I mean, her last name is Caulfield, so it makes sense. If I'm not looking through a viewfinder, I'm looking through a window. Always looking. Waving through a window. Oh. Hard to believe it. Yeah? I haven't like read it or seen it. Some poser. I'm eighteen. Do I look any older? Just more stressed. I feel that. Spiritual level, Sam. Max, why do I keep calling you Sam? It's Jacob all over again. <laughs> I want a picture of the squirrel drinking from a can of soda. Goals. Got a note here? No. Let me look at it. Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. He's such a goofball. <laughs> To Max or whom it may concern, the cinematic contents of his flash drive are of a graphic, life-altering, controversial nature. This collection has been downloaded with the greatest care by the most discriminating viewer. I congratulate you on your taste and eagerly await your in-depth reviews of Cannibal Holocaust and Ultra Vixens. Okay. Ahoy, Captain. At least I know you've got my back. When I swallowed your eye and my parents rushed me to the ER... I knew we were bonded forever. What'd you say? Oh. Huh. The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. So cheesy, but it makes me smile thinking of the day Mom and I sewed that together. Oh, that's cute. Oh, I can lay down. I can turn the power strip off hi-fi I should hit the thrift store and pick up some dollar vinyl is that too hipster I don't care 
Music inspires me in my photography. Cartier Bresson, Doino, Hamilton, the greatest. <sighs> Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. Did she just, like, not talk to her because she was moving away? Or, like, I don't know. I'm sure I'll find out, but... Yeah. That's the only tourist picture I let them take of me at the Space Needle. That's the only tourist picture I let them take of me at the Space Needle. That was a good hockey game and a great fight. Man, Kristen and Fernando were so drunk hanging on the Fremont Troll. What the heck am I looking at? Fremont Troll, I guess. Philip Lorca de Corsha, my man. I don't think I could take my camera to those places. Look at that shot. I love Julia Cameron's Victorian vibe. Talk about analog cameras. Ah, oh, Dolly, what a fantastic eye. He could truly freeze time. Here's my go-to source for instant photo inspiration. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Hey girl, I borrowed your drive so I can watch some flicks while I study. If you need a back, just track me down. Anyway. You went into my room? Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. Not cool, bro. Not cool. There's my poor laptop begging me to check in. Daniel has so much talent. I hope nobody hates on it just because it's me. Quick sketch of my new muse. I am so addicted to this site. Oh. Look at these vintage beauties. <laughs> oh dear. Warren makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. Max, thanks for your email and copy of Jefferson's class notes. Now I shall never stop sending you messages of gratitude. I also have a rather eclectic collection of TV, cult, classic, and messed up films on a fat flash drive. If you ever want to check them out, thanks again for the help. I'm a scientist more than an artist. Now can you quickly explain to me how a camera works? Anything else we're missing? Instant film. Instant film is so instant film is so damn hard to find and expensive now. I'm glad Kate let me borrow her copy of the October Country. I should have every Bradbury book for myself. Wait. Wait. I'm glad Kate let me borrow her copy of the October Country. I should have every Bradbury book for myself. Okay. Instant film is so damn hard to find and expensive now. But I can't help it. I'm analog, not digital. The guitar. Cookies. I love that mom sent me a fat box of chocolate coconut bites for my birthday. And slipped in a $200 gift certificate. Oh. She sure knows how to make a sad birthday happy. Oh. Hard to believe I'm 18 now. I'm lucky my parents enabled my photo habit into adulthood. What's that? I'm sorry, I'm having trouble understanding you. Yeah. You're fine. Happy birthday, Maxine. Never forget the day you were born. Your first smile was love at first sight. It's your special day. We miss you, but we're so proud that you're following your dreams. We love you, your mother and father. No. Look at them clothes. It's not exactly pretty in pink, but no shits are given. I like my wardrobe. <laughs> Valid. Would Man Ray call them selfie portraits? 
Man Ray. Play the guitar. It's such a pretty guitar. I need to play it more. No time like the present, baby. Pretty good at that. Uh, lay down. It feels so nice to just relax. This day has been so damn bizarre, and it feels like it has gone on forever. Maybe I'll just wake up now and find out I was dreaming all of this. Or like Poe said, a dream within a dream. Dream within a dream. Time is it? 12.45, it's not bad. I know, I'm EP. It's been a long day. Are you, are you getting tired? Okay. Um, I could save, oh no, I can't manually save. Could call it here, I don't know. I'm sure it'll just keep going if I go to get the drive from Dana. Okay. Yeah, there we go. You can't get out now, Dana, so tell me the truth or rot in there. Uh oh. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. We got a cliffhanger then. Excellent. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Ah. This was a good time. Oh, hope you enjoyed. <laughs>